Nirvana, Heart Shape Box, Seven String Guitar Method in the Recorded Key, Guitar Tabs with the Guitar Lesson. I'm going to play through all the parts right at the beginning here. After that, I'll go back through, give the full explanation for all of it. Do me a big favor and hit that subscribe button. It's the best way to let me know you like this video and want to see more in this style. And now, let's give it a try. Okay, so once again, this is a seven string interpretive method here for the recorded key. And of course, in the original version, you know, they have the six strings dropped down to the D flat. Uh, but for our purposes here, we're just in a standard seven. So we have the B, and then the E, A, D, G, B, E. And uh, same key, all that good stuff. So uh, we'll just start here with this A flat power chord arpeggio here. So uh, we can get that here at the four on the six string, the E. Then we go 6A, 6D under that. Just pick right down through it, back up to the A string. All right, shift down to an E power chord now. So we just get that dropping down here. Open uh, E at the sixth string and then 2A, 2D, back to 2A. And now we get to make use of our seven string here. We go to the uh, D flat power chord now so we can get that here at the 2 on the B with the 4 on the E, 4 on the A. Just pick down through it like that. All right, and then just a little back and forth on the E, A, E, 4, 4, 4. All right, start it over again with the A flat to E. All right, and now when we go to the D flat, it's going to be more of a D flat 7 now. So we'll hit the 2 on the low B here. Jump up and we'll hit the three on the D string here. And then we'll just kind of hesitate slightly. Hit the four on the E, back to the three D. All right, and then we just hit this seven of the chord, which is three twos on the A string here. into the chorus, just some straight uh, power chord strums here with that A flat at the four E six on the A and D there. It's just a bang, bang. And after we hit that, we jump over and we hit a bend on the three of the G. Just kind of slow bend up to the peak, cut it. All right, down to the open E. Same bend at that three G. And then we land on our D flat at the two low B with the fours on the E and A there. And with this, we just hit it. And then we'll jump down, strum on four of those third fret Ds to the two on the A. All right, and then we'll come down and bend that three on the G again. For this post-chorus section, we're just strumming right on tempo with some uh, E power chords. So you can either you know keep it down at the open uh, version that we have been doing, but I kind of like to switch over to the the five on the B with the seven on the E and A here, and just strum it out eight times, and then we drop it down to our D flat at the two and fours, and uh, you know we'll hit that once, and then we'll do that bend on the three of the G again. <laughs> 
yeah. and with this I kind of like to just let the chord ring over the top of the bend so just strum it and then you know come down and just give that three on the G bend in the midst of the chord <laughs> sounds kind of cool uh, repeat the initial E strums again down to the D flat power chord again and with this we'll hit it and then we'll just pick the three or sorry the four third frets on the D and then the three twos on the A And with the solo, we're just messing around with the A and the G string. So pretty much the same deal as we had with the six string, except we're not in the drop tuning or anything. So uh, we'll be here at the 11A and then just come down, hit 11G, give it a little bend and release. Okay, shift it down to the 9A, do the bend and release on the nine of the G. All right, we'll do a seven on the A and then do a eight bend on the G. Okay, and once we release it down, we come off to the eight, six, and then do a nine, eight on the D. All right, repeat that whole thing again, but at the end of the second time, uh, after we do our nine, eight D, we just land on six and just let that ring. Thanks for checking out the video, everybody. Like it, share it, leave a comment. It's always good to hear from you. Um, do me a favor and hit the subscription button. I put out a video pretty frequent, so you don't want to miss out on that. Uh, check out the links in the description box below. I have really cool links for uh, tablature books, all the gear I use, t-shirts, fun stuff like that. So thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.